Our goal is to eradicate COPD. So right now we're diagnosed COPD through blood, uh, through breathing tests, which are hard to do and uh, kind of expensive. So wh what we're trying to do is uh, identify new molecular markers that can be used as a blood test uh, for COPD. So patients can just go to life labs and get a diagnosis of COPD. He's on all the major journal editorial boards. He's been recognized by his peers as one of the most uh, important opinion leaders in the area of COPD. So our first speaker is Dr. Don Sin, who is um, a Canadian Research Chair in COPD. He was educated at the University of Alberta and at Harvard. He's published uh, more than 260 papers, which I find remarkable because He's, he looks like he's 15 years old. <laughs> Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD as we call it, is a very prevalent and disease in our community. Um, you know, it, it is the leading cause of hospitalization at St. Paul's and Mount St. Joseph, VGH, and throughout the Lower Mainland. So I've dedicated my entire career, which spans nearly two decades now, in trying to address the burden of COPD uh, for patients and for communities. And our research is really focused in, in identifying COPD early in its course through simple tests and to getting the right therapy to the right patients at the right time. Always at the core of what Don does is thinking about the people he serves and how can he use various pieces of technology, various um, new treatment modalities, the analysis and evaluation of work that's happening, questions that are happening at the point of care that we can't answer or explain, and feedback into the team to really drive and push the boundaries of exceptional care. And he's such an uh, amazing example and, and incredibly down to earth and giving of his time and knowledge and expertise. The time we've spent discussing this, which is, you know, less than a couple of minutes, we've already had probably one or two deaths from smoking-related diseases. Um, it, it is a serious problem, and COPD is one of many diseases caused by cigarette smoking and air pollution. And so our lab is focused uh, on improving the health outcomes of patients with COPD, but also patients with lung cancer. So in order to prevent lung cancer, uh, because that is the, really the only way to reduce the morbidity and mortality from lung cancer is to prevent it or to detect it at its earliest stages. So again, we're trying to identify simple tests that can be deployed in the clinics to identify patients at high risk of lung cancer or patients harboring the earliest stages of lung cancer when surgical therapy is possible. By far, he's probably one of the most stellar mentors in our department. He is very positive. He's always come up with something fabulous about what the charges are doing in the lab. At the same time, he could be very critical about what things they have to change in order to make a story more compelling. He's a warm person, very generous to the team, and just a tremendous collaborator. I, I think there's significant evidence, both from our lab and many others, that there is a significant extra pulmonary component, and the blood is the conduit. So we're hoping that we can find the signal in the blood. I'm honored and delighted to receive this award. I came to Providence uh, 11, 12 years ago, and it's been a great pleasure for me to work here. I've never been in a healthcare environment where there's so much congen congeniality, esprit de corps, uh, amongst uh, my peers. A and so it is with great honor that I accept this award, and I want to thank all my um, colleagues for their contribution to patient care at Providence.